Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Night Ghost 49. Welcome back to Banish and the Colonial Charter. There's been a little gap in the videos again, and that has to do with me getting a bit ill again. Not a throat problem, more of a stomach problem. I've got a bit of a stomach bug that's going around, or it either that or it's food poisoning. So I didn't even stream tonight. It is Monday night, and I even took the day off of work. Let's unpause. So... My apologies on the delay. I actually feel really horrible right now, but I want to get a video out for you guys so we can see where our town is going next. So let's look at the stats real quick. Currently we have 1,265 citizens, 530 families, and 433 homes. So we need a lot more homes again. We're under producing by about 20,000 food, but we're buying a ridiculous amount. We're doing okay again on tools. Um, I think that has a do with the limit. Fuel's good. Everything else is looking fine. So, we are finishing off a few more items. There's a coffee house. I think that's it. And that would be brewing coffee into coffee beans for luxury items. Ah! Alright, well we'll see how that goes. I don't think we're even set up for that. And the rest of these are curing barns. We have two curing barns here. And are these tobacco? Yes, tobacco. Um, and then an orchard. Oh, right, for coffee. Let's get that going. Let's check out these two traders. I've been thinking about this. Um, what around? I don't need those. I've been thinking about this a bit, and I, you know, I've been agonizing over like, oh my gosh, what should we sell? What should we, what should we do? Let's make sure we don't run out of food. And then there's nomads. You know, I'm gonna quit making so much food. Food. You know, this is fine. I like a little variety that we have here in town. But I think it would be better, honestly, if I just really ramped up some other production. You know, like this <clears throat> this business here with the uh, the tobacco. Like, we need to do that. We really do, because I could sell that for a lot. Now, I don't know when it comes to, like, a grocer, if we're going to get a lot out of that. We're going to have to find out. You know, I'm, I'm tempted to... Um, I don't know if I can do flax. Let's see. For the plantation... I guess you can do anything on a plantation. It just treats it differently as it's counted. You know, we've got flax and things like that. So we could start making linen. You know. Um, gosh, more curing barns. Nice. Let me think. i, I got to reorient myself real quick. The market is there. But there's no market out here. So why don't we make another market? I like, I like the idea of food being... Food and supplies being circulated a little more regularly. Or uh, reliably, I should say. A little more reliably. Because I want to put a bunch of homes over here. I think it would be a good plan to do that. So let's go with the key roads again. And we will go down the plantation here. And we'll make this a double road. Okay. And I'm going to put some homes in this area or something. We could do a lot of mining here. I've got a lot of extra laborers. I like to have the extra labor so that things actually get moved around and shuffled the way they should. So that's good. I, I will put two people here just for now. Both of these tobacco, right? Um... We'll do that for the moment. And I, I know we're going to get warnings that they don't have the right stuff, and that's fine. We're, we're good. Now, these barns, I want to piggyback or, or leapfrog upgrade those. Yeah, and again, we've got people dying off. We've got people that need uh, families and homes. So I really want to make this area grow up a little bit more. Now, this is kind of more of our posh, you know, nicer area. So maybe over here, we won't have the massive requirement. But what I think we should do is the multi-tiered homes. I think those would be a lot of fun. And we can turn them like they are right now, um, just to add some variety. Here we go, one, two, and then one, two. Yep, yeah, okay. We'll finish those, and remember, those are three homes in there that'll be all packed together, so that'll be nice. Let's add some more builders, just, just for good measure. Okay. Oh, and the school finished over here, the college. Let's go ahead and get somebody, edu or uh, a teacher there, so people he around here will be a little more efficient running around. The kids won't have to be in the cold forever, and they can come over here and get educated. The magazine's barely getting used. I mean, there's there's a decent amount of stuff in here. Well, actually, that's not a lot at all. Um, it's it's huge. It's so freaking big. The uh, you, you can just get so much out of that. Oh, we're going. We're doing rope. Oh, that's right. We needed the rope so that we could do the wharf and shipyard. Which we already found out that we had enough of the um, enough of the hull components to do this anyway. But we are making a little bit on our own. Wait, what are you maxed on? We're maxed on tools. Um, 
Let's up that a little bit. I want to see if we can keep up with that demand. I'm pretty sure we can. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, all this whale blubber and stuff is going to be good. I think what we need to do is take the whale blubber and make... Not candles from it, right? But I would like to make uh, oil. So... That reminds me, I should just do that now before I forget. And we could do an oil press. I don't think I've done an oil press here. Hopefully I'm not mixing up, you know, like the um, the uh, streamed game versus this one. I am going to pull the oil press out here so I can monitor that and make sure we get it done. Oh, and somebody said something about I can make pewter by uh, combining. <sighs> Smelting and combining. Um, like here, let's see. Pewter is tin ore and copper. I didn't realize that. Um, I wasn't really paying attention. And thank you for pointing that out, whoever did. Um, let's see. Can I do another foundry over here? I can. Let's let's do one right here, and we will mark that as well. Because then we could start making pewter as well. Um, I don't know how the mines are looking with all that, but we'll figure it out. The market's almost done. They're starting to clear some stuff over here. Let's go ahead and check on our trader. This one is our kind of random food supplier guy, you know, uh, Rito the Grocer. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of, like, herbs and wool coats, maybe. And once we, once we start doing tobacco leaves, I'll probably start bringing in tobacco leaves there. Sorry, I kind of had to adjust in my creaky chair. I still don't have the new chair yet. Um, I've been thinking about getting one and everybody's generous donations um, through PayPal and through um, Patreon I have to check it and make sure I've got enough, but I may actually be able to get a new chair. I need one. My back has been killing me so bad. Kind of have back issues. I um, Some of you might not know, but I used to work construction. I built homes for a living. It was a blast, and I loved it. And uh, one day, though, I really hurt my back. And because of that, I had to stop what I was doing. I had to change careers entirely. I was a foreman. I really loved my job, actually. Um, but I had to quit that, and ever since then... The back's never really been the same, which sucks a lot. Anyway, so it looks like the tobacco is getting planted. The three plantations here are getting worked on. And again, we, we know better. We know these are going to be plantations. So why don't we just say remove. This is faster for some reason. So I've got our, our materials warehouse. We've got our specialized warehouses here of stone and wood. So those will get utilized here shortly. The coffee house currently has no one. Why are honey? Why is honey being kept here? Odd. Anyway, I've got somebody. I have somebody work the coffee house for now. The marketplace is occupied with four people. I think we're going to need more. Let's get it up to six. It's going to take a bit to to get people to uh, stock this correctly, and they're going to live far away. As you can see, we've got issues right now with housing. This isn't so bad. The other ones are bad. That's why we need these homes in. I knew that was going to be partially a concern that we were going to have to address. So that's kind of why I, I'm doing what I am right now with the urban level one homes and all that stuff. Which, now that I can see some of the shingles on these, why don't we go ahead and get the tier two, which that is tier two for this one and the proper um, shingles. And we'll go here. There we go. The frame works up so we can do that. There we go. All right. So we've got level two queued up here for these homes as well. Oil press is already about halfway done. Foundry's halfway done. How are we doing on lumber? I'm kind of curious because I've uh, I've adjusted that a little bit. Remember, we took one person off of lumber because it was kind of out of control. Okay, good. We're good. 2,800. We were, we were at like 4,000, and that's just too, too much lumber. It's kind of crazy. I just saw in there we have like 2,000 milk, so that's kind of awesome. Why don't we come over here in the dairy area and make sure there's two people working these guys. I really should do a quick pass um, through a lot of industries and make sure people are kind of living close to where they're working and that they're being efficient in that front as well. Um, I've got a lot of stuff queued up, but I might as well go ahead and queue up the storage barn here. Let's just make them all storage barns. Everybody be nice and happy. Sorry if you can hear that, my furnace just kicked on. Uh, we had this crazy, crazy big storm come through over the weekend. Like, it knocked the power out several times. And Anyway, it was just nuts, so hearing the furnace kick on kind of reminds me of that. It was snowing sideways, couldn't see across the street. Barely could see the street lamp. It was a crazy day! Kind of nuts. So here, back to my thought, um, I'm going to do tobacco here. 
I really am. So... The sugar cane we probably could use more of, but I'm actually not 100% sure. Oh, three, three, good. And there's one there. Let's get two, three. Just to get them allocated. I know they're not going to work it yet. Okay, that's food. All right, we've got more seeds. I don't actually feel like we need any right now. It's just not a huge concern. Um, how are we doing on domesticated animals? I just saw it in there. We have 670. All right, now talking about stuff to trade, domesticated animals would give us a lot of food. Why don't we take 100? Um, you know what? Why don't we take 60? I, I'm a little... I'm a little um, protective, I guess, is probably the best way to put it, of the domesticated animals. I don't really want them to be sold very easily. I, I'm, I keep them close to the cuff, right? Because we use them for other things. Plus, they're very lucrative, so I have to be careful. I'm going to get rid of the herbs here. I had, a, I had a reason for that. I wanted to reduce the amount that we had. It's kind of silly right now. So look, iron right here. Let's, let's set this to pewter, and we'll just put two people on this. And let's just see if we can get some pewter going. Um, our oil press is here, and yeah, blubber to lamp oil, and I'll put two people here, so there we go, and I believe we have a decent amount of whale blubber, we're getting some of our own, and I think we're automatically purchasing it as well, there's whale meat, which I don't think we're cutting up, yeah, we have 850, now granted, that's actually not a lot, but we will always have some coming in, we might as well make lamp oil, excuse me, take a little drink there, Oh my gosh, we have a ton of tin and a ton of tin ore. We really could get some more food going. Why don't we organize this by quantity real quick? All right, let's, let's go a little crazy again. Oats are high. We're leaving that alone. We have industries tied into that with flour, right? We've got tons of flour. We have a ton of flour. Holy crap, we can get more bakeries. So we're going to leave that alone. Actually, the same thing with barley. The, I think that we're feeding both of those and the wheat into this industry. I need to put down a few more bakers. You know what? Before we do anything, I probably need to do that. Now, how's the sugar? Because we could make sugar cookies, um, butter. Uh, butter's being used like almost immediately. Okay, we won't do that. But sugar cookies. Hardtack is what we make out of just flour. Now, granted, I did increase the amount of people working the dairy. So hopefully, um, could we do more? We could do three. Let's go ahead and increase these to three. I would like to use the milk and possibly get some more butter going on here. Oh yeah, this is our little area that we started before. We're smoking the jerky over here. and wait, We've got an oil press over here. We already have one that's doing blubber. I thought I'd already done this. Oh well. Um, dang it. That's not good. Seed oil would be really good to sell, actually. From the flax, but... You know what? Let's do that. How are we doing on flax? I feel like I'm I'm only reserving it right now for rope, and we probably don't need to. Oh, we're completely out of flax. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm shutting this thing down. We don't need it. There's no point in having it here. We'll reduce that by two. All right, fine. We don't need it. Fine. Milk barns, are you all employed? Very good. Got new traders that came in. That's fine. You know what? One of these needs to be flax. Just because if we're out already, that's bad. Okay, there's three, and then this plantation will be cotton, excuse me, tobacco. I can't even believe they planted any here. That's odd. All right, so we're going to start getting some tobacco leaf in, and then we can start curing that up. And once it's cured, I can push it on over to uh, to sell. Oh, and the homes are getting finished off. Okay, okay. Nice. Let's go tier three, right? And it'll be on this side. I'm going to turn the camera to make sure I can see this correctly. I'm ignoring the traders right now. They'll be fine. They're fine. Um, I think that's right. But again, you guys know, I'm really timid to put that down unless this is like actually done. I guess, honestly, I just lined it up like this. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I, I lined it up from the back. It, it's fine. Not a big deal. Now, let's check and see. Now that a few of these homes have finished. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. See, we can we can make this more efficient. I love it. I love it when you have a plan and it starts to come together. You know what I mean? It's good stuff. There you go. All these people work in here. Courthouse. There you go. And all you guys are working in good spots. Yeah, that's not bad. Wait, is people are living here? No. Okay, the town lodging, nobody's living there. Good. That wouldn't be a good thing. That would be the, mean that we would, don't have enough homes and all that stuff. So I can start putting roads in the middle here. Or we can get some more little storage things up and going. 
I haven't quite decided how I want to handle that yet. We've got five students here at the Farmers College. Currently, we're going to be just fine when it comes to um, schooling. I think we're good. Not the biggest concern, actually. Um, oh, here. Okay, here's my thing. <clears throat> I want more bakers. I need more bakers. All of my baking stuff is technically over here. You know what? I should probably just do it over here. <clears throat> I was debating it, and it's a little silly. I should just do it over here. See, all these bakers are already working. Um, yeah. What What is this? Is this the olive place that I did? Yeah, this is, this is a goofy olive. Look at all those little olive trees. It's kind of funny. <sighs> bakers, though. Are these bakers? No, those candle makers. Tallow and candle from beeswax. Okay, good, good, good. Um, 16, 16 people work in that central market. Yeah, that's good stuff. Let's see. Can I fit some more bakers in somewhere else? Let's go baker. And that's right up on a hill, though. I just don't want to use that space. Let's do it here. Let's put in three. Three bakers. We'll, we'll get those finished off. Um, I, I don't need to track them. We'll come back and see that. It's not a big deal. All right. And we've got the forge running here. We have the cooper here making barrels. Um, I believe for... Yes. Our smokehouse, and we're making we're not making very much, but it's food variety, which does help your overall citizen health. So that's kind of nice. Now, all these tidal pools now, tidal pools are a perfect thing to expand to. You can actually put a lot more people in them. So, if we get another massive influx and we need food out of nowhere, that's one area that we could go. Now, the wharf and shipyard technically we can do one more person there, and we do have a second one down below in the south over here. Yep, there we go. It has a different sale. I do like that a lot. So we could expand that even more. These homes are getting finished up. That's nice. Um, let me think. We could do an old dairy because I have so much milk. We might as well go ahead and do this. And then, honestly, I really would like... Where, where does this go to? This isn't a big radius. I actually like the smaller radius because you can control it a little bit better, I think, personally. Let's put uh, one, two, three, and then... One, two, three. I just want to keep dotting homes in. I need to catch up to the homes because the fact that we're behind means that we're not going to continually grow, and that's a problem. I mean, I rely on nomads a lot for a lot of different reasons, for goofy reasons and for, for really fun ones too, and you guys know that, but having your own organic growth is so much better, in my opinion. So we need fancy furniture, right? And pewterware. Now, somebody did warn me that the hardwood forester would go out of control. They said, it's a little nuts, be careful. That it expands past his normal area. I'm not seeing that yet, but I'm not discounting what you're saying either. I just haven't seen it quite yet. So, I will keep that in mind. Now, we do have some hardwood coming in. I believe I have at least one forester working, and they're over here. Not forester, excuse me, one joiner. He's making regular furniture. Um, that's not a big deal because I'm buying logs. So I think I'm okay, but this guy's going to do fancy furniture. I'm going to put two of you here. Even if you run out of resources, I'm fine with that for now. Because I know the second dense, uh, the hardwood forester, is just not up and running all the way yet. So I'm really just not concerned. Um, what, are you, what are you, beeswax? Oh, man. Okay, well, we need more beeswax. And honestly, I think more honey would be a good thing, too. So why don't we put that over here? We'll just put down one. One little apiary. Have it buzzing around. Doo -doo and I think I want to close off the road here and make this kind of a, a little city block. I like the look of this place here. Um, I know that my my growth in the cities are a little more organic than, let's say, you know, you guys have seen Vapa in the, in the co-op series that we did. Man, the guy is brilliant with putting wonderful aesthetics on properties. You, you know what I mean? He's really good at it. I am... I'm less good. You know, I'm just not not quite as adept at doing that. I'm going to put this well here in one of these little corners. See, we've got this corner going on um, with the magazine. I think I'm going to do that. And I don't mind the trees being around here now that I think about it. That's, that's fine. A little more aesthetic feel to it. I like thing big words. Now, what else do we have that we haven't actually built? Um, there's a gazebo. A decorative gazebo requires stone, hardwood, and bronze to make. I actually don't have bronze, so we'll hold off on that for now. Schools, there's the arrival. We, we've built most of those. Now, in our in our streamed game, 
I have a handful of abbeys that make nothing but ale, and it's free. There's nothing you have to do there. The production is just not very high. So I've actually used that to buy a lot of food. And I'll admit it's, it's working better than I thought. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, <clears throat> I took a big drink there. <clears throat> now, as for our um, ecclesiastical studies and our courthouse stuff, we, we have enough uh, room. We don't need to make more church buildings. Now, as for the hospitals and whatnot, oh, I don't think I have a hospital down here. Let's put one by the apiary. I like the city hospital. It's thinner, and I can just plop it in there, and we're, we're good to go. So, let's see. For food, uh, wait, what? Water towers? Uh, windmill pump. The windmill pump produces water. Now, water is something you could put at a luxury place, right? And then there's this water tower. A water tower provides clean water, which can be used at the pub kitchen. Building to fill tin canteens. People enjoy this. The people can drink water directly to stay alive, but it will have a poor impact on their health. I don't really want them to do that. Um, city water tank, though. Large building allows faster collection of water than the water tower. Huh. Well, I think we're going to do that right outside the school. And then we'll put a pub. A little pub kitchen right here. Because it'll make food and things like that. So why don't we go to luxury. We'll go to pub kitchen. Um, I think we're using chicken and honey in the other pub kitchen to make uh, these meals. Here, I think I'll do the canteens, which will help their health. You know, because we want nice sanitized water and all that good stuff. And all that good stuff. Oh, I didn't look. Um, how are we doing? A thousand for tobacco. 700 something still for this one. And this one had no harvest. Right, okay, good. So 700 and then, uh, so 2,700 roughly. And then the tobacco leaves are coming in, and they're making pipe tobacco right now. So what I'll do is I will say that this place, let's dismiss this one. See, look, they're they're doing all these odd and end things, and I don't like that. Um, I actually am going to get rid of the wool coats. I'll keep the 100 bedding, because otherwise I wouldn't sell it for anything. But we have plenty of other places that have wool coats. It's fine. I'm not that concerned about it. What I want this to do is tobacco leaf, and I'll put like 500 here for now until we get some other stuff. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way. My apologies. Um, hello. Ah, tobacco leaf? No, wait, cured tobacco? Or no, pipe tobacco. Okay, it, it's two different things. The tobacco leaf we saw, but it's the piped, pipe tobacco, not pipe, to, pipe tobacco that's been dried and all that. There we go. 500. All right, see, I'm trying to consolidate this a little bit. Now, the candles, whatever. We're, we're making a ton of those. I kind of want to get rid of some of them. Um, I don't know if I need as many as I have, but whatever. Pipe tobacco is going to be a little bit more lucrative. The only thing I hate is that you can only put five people at that job, which really limits what it can do. All right, what do we have here? All oh, right, the old dairy. Let's put two people here, and they'll start bringing in milk and making the byproduct of that, which cream, butter, um, every single time I think of this, I don't even remember what the byproducts are. So butter... Cream. My brain is completely broken right now. I have no idea what else they can get. Ugh, that's frustrating. Cheese. Oh, there it is. I don't even know how I forget cheese. All right, so you're going to do sugar cookies, and you guys will just do hardtack. And I might double you guys up, but I'm not doing any big housing projects over here. Can I fit in any more homes? I think I can right here. Nope, I sure can't. All right, well, that's really lame. And this is hardwood, so I can't really go into that too much. I could go into the olives a bit more, but gosh, I really don't want to do that. I'm tempted to do some three-layered homes again. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. i got to think about that area a little bit more. It's kind of tucked into a weird spot. Let's get two people working the apiary over here. Labors are dropping a little bit. People are, are starting to die off of old age. You know, it happens. But we do want to get more homes up so people can pair off. See, these guys are in their 20s. That this is the perfect age. I'm fine with that. You can pair off. You guys are going to have kids and all that good stuff. So um, I'm happy to see that happen. Why don't we see if we can fit in like more of these three-layered homes? We don't want to line them up here, though. So that way. And then a gap of two. There we go. And then I'm going to stop because I don't want to run into that road in particular. 
Okay, the city hospital's gonna go up. How how's the tobacco going? It's only one person. They're cranking out a little bit, and it's not the most it's not the most important industry, but at the same time, I made the statement that we wanted to use this for food. So it probably wouldn't hurt to have two people working each. Now they're probably gonna run out of supply, which I'm perfectly okay with. Okay, fills fills canteens with water. That's what we want from the pub kitchen over here. Uh, because this city water tank is almost complete, so we want to do that. I don't know how much water this is going to crank out, but we'll we'll have to see. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think our next city that we do, we should do like a really heavily militarized one or something. Yeah, just water, okay. Let's get one person to work that. There you go, that's fine. And we could do like the, because uh, there, there's a whole series of stuff that you can use for the military work, you know. And it takes a lot of supply. It takes this quartermaster and muskets and cannons and things like that. We could go a heavily uh, militarized expedition or something. I think that would be interesting to do and see how that gets executed. Because uh, you, you, you build a big fort and you have like homes around and stuff like that. We could do like a, you know, pioneers of uh, America in the 1800s or whatever. And uh, go with, go with that front. It would be kind of cool, I think. So can canteen water, and this guy's gonna start making some some water. Wait, water, canteen, and water. So do I need to make a canteen somewhere? Like, do I need to smelt that? Let's look at the foundry. No. I'm very confused. That's okay though. That's pretty normal. I don't know. I want to. I want to see what this does. This hasn't produced anything yet. Whatever. We'll just let it go for a bit. All right. Let's get a hospital up and running here, so people are nice and healthy. And if anybody gets sick, they'll just hop on over here and it'll be good to go. How are we doing on our small market? Six people. That's keeping it fairly full. So I'm not going to freak about that. Um, the old dairy is making cream and butter and no cheese as of yet, but that's okay. We do have the homes being built down here at the bottom. And these plantations are getting worked. They've got at least three people working them. Let's double check and make sure they're not too far away. Yep, very nice. Okay, good. I was uh, a little worried. Didn't want them to go all over the place. Don't want them going all over creation. Yeah, this is this is so much better. And I've got two people working those. Nobody works that. There's the church, which this one is completely full, isn't it? But it's not saying max because it's overflowing elsewhere. So that's good. A little seafair shrine is completely full. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Can I've got so many candle makers, actually. <laughs> I may have gone overboard. In fact, let's turn this one off. A couple extra laborers. Uh, they'll be fine. They'll integrate well into the community. We have another college over here, and then I just built one right there. See, that's what happens. You start to overlap all these things because you forget what you've done. That's okay. Though. Okay, 32 water. Canteen and water. I, I just don't know. What does that mean? Do I have to forge a canteen? I mean, it would make sense. I'd have to make it. It's not like I could just go out to the store and buy any of this stuff. Back in the day... Build some more roads down here. There we go. Looks like our coffee tree's coming in nicely. Um, so the coffee house holds luxury items. That's kind of nice. They just pop over here back and forth. And this one probably has, yeah, tobacco leaf. And honestly, I think with just those two, it's not going to keep up with this. We're going to have so much extra raw resource, it's not even funny. Okay, well, that'll, that'll be interesting to see. So the tin mines, very good. I just want to check on the mines over here. This is a dark mine. 64% done. Coal. We're going to need deep mines here sometime. Precious mines are just kind of silly. Like, I don't even know what to say about those. They don't produce a whole heck of a lot. I do have a smelter over here. Or a melting house that just does silver right now. Yeah. Look at all these wool pins. Like the backbone of our economy. I love it. Edibles market, fantastic. We've got all these guys here, clothing stalls, foods, good stuff. Um, how are we from last year? Well, actually, I don't have the numbers, so never mind. And then the milking barn just makes a ridiculous amount of milk. I love that. The domesticated animals are so good.
But I'm I'm wondering though, I'm like not using all these little extra spaces in here. I wonder if I should like start putting stuff in there. I don't quite know. I do need to upgrade some roads. That is a given. I'm doing stone roads on this part of town because that was kind of the tradition and I want to keep that alive. But I think we're missing out on some efficiency by not upgrading these. And let's not do that anymore. Okay, there we go. We'll scoot on this way and see about right here. It looks like we did miss a spot. Get that upgraded. We'll get this upgraded. And there we go. I uh, got a couple little dirt patches here and there, but no major roads I can see so far. I guess in between, this would be advantageous to have these uh, as stone. What are we? What are we making here? This is sugarcane, and that's sugarcane. And we only got two people working that. Are we getting at least one thousand? We are. I think the homes around it are kind of helping with that situation. And really, I could make a lot more homes over on this side because we took out all of the, the stuff over here. Yeah, we put in a market and uh, we put in homes. We got the sugar, sugar cane field over here. We put in more homes there and here. Holy cow, we actually have a lot of a lot of housing. Where are the nomads? I'm kind of curious. Usually we, we get some by now, but I haven't seen any. So, I don't know. It's odd to say the least. Should we make some like little seaside property right here? I don't know. I like the trees. They help with erosion, right? We don't we don't want to be bad stewards of our uh, of our place, of our town. How are you guys doing? Ale, mead, spirits. Get out of here. You've already bought all all the things you need. Dismissed. Just leave. Go on. We've got things to do. Please go. Okay, there we are. Let's check on our hardwood real quick. Yep. Yep, they're bringing it in. Again, this is cyclical. I've talked about this. It'll grow, and then it'll, it'll cut it down and all that stuff. We're probably starting to get... No, it's still only logs here. The domesticated animals. This is this is kind of an odd thing. They're, they gather them quickly. If you're wanting to uh, have two industries, get a hardwood um, forester, and you could do fancy furniture, and you can do domesticated animals. It's kind of nuts. Okay, homeware supplier, fancy furniture, and pewter. Let's just get one person working that because I'm pretty sure I have fancy fear and pewter. Fancy furniture and pewter, excuse me. Words are hard. Fancy homewares. Fancy furniture 146. Now let's go down to the pewter. Pewter sounds like Batman saying computer. 183. That's awesome. Pewter. And the farm supplier. What are you going to do for me? You got lots of seeds. I guess we could get corn. I don't think I have corn. Or I've said that ten times and I totally do. No, I don't. Yeah, let's get corn. I like to have that. Um, you can make wheat out of it and other things. So, there's corn. And a few domesticated animals, right? And then a handful of coats. 67, right? Yeah, we're paying by five. I remember... Pumpkins, tulips, hemp, fig, strawberry, cotton. No, I think we're good. And they just arrived, and they're going to buy food automatically. How is our food situation? You know, we well, wait. How are we doing with housing? See, we've reduced the amount of families. We've increased our homes by about thirty. Or did we? But we've reduced families a little bit. That we've had some doubt. Two hundred and thirty-one children. Holy cow! One hundred forty-three kids. That's so much. Dang. Dang, Gina. Um, we're still we're about thirty thousand short on food, and that's because I keep building more homes. Oh, and these finished. Before we get any snow or anything else, let's do this. Let's get uh, it's early spring or early summer. We're not gonna get snow. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. We'll set those up. All right, guys. I'm gonna make a cut here. All in all, I think the town's doing well. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I try to read those. I, like I said, I've been kind of under the weather lately, so I apologize if I'm very off of my game. And um, anyway, just bear with me, and we'll we'll get things all taken care of. So I wouldn't stress about it too much. I'm trying not to myself. That's what life does. It kind of throws stuff at you. It's all about, you know. It's funny thing about life. It's it's how you react. You know, it's not necessarily that stuff happens to you. It's how you react that really defines you. You know what I mean? Dang, that bank barn is holding a lot of stuff. Hard tack random from there. Anyway, don't dive in more. Thank you all for being here, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.